Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of my Red Dead Redemption 2 Low Honor playthrough. I am really hoping that this is the Lenny mission episode, but I suppose we will find out. Um, I'm trying to remember what missions we had uh, left to do. I think there was uh, going with Hosea um, to see the bear. Um, what else was there? I don't remember seeing Micah's one show up yet. But maybe Dutch has to speak to us first. Um, and I think the Lenny one might have been tied in with that. Anyway, let's get into the game. We'll see what we've got on the table. Um, yeah, and we'll see if we can get some more interesting camp conversations. I need to get myself into the headspace. I am an outlaw. <laughs> I do evil things. <laughs> what would the devil do? I need to ask myself in each, each situation. <laughs> What would that devil man in the cave do? <laughs> With his pointy hair. Oh, I wonder if we can go and see him at some point. I didn't hear all the things that he has to say. I know he says different things, but I never really went back, did I? Hmm. You guys also had some great suggestions when I was a bit torn between doing side missions. Um, because I know typically that's like a high honor thing. Um, but a lot of you said do them anyway and then just go and rob a train or shoot some people and bring the honour back down so that is true I can always just rebalance the scales or should I say unbalance re-unbalance the scales um, yeah so I am never drinking again <laughs> if you'll excuse me God, stay away from that whiff oh yeah it's all post Sean's Celebration, isn't it? You did good with Sean. We wouldn't have got him without you. All we seem to do is rescue folks these days, Arthur. <laughs> I know. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Yes, see you later. You want to sit down, Arthur? Hello. <laughs> oh, that little wave. Always busy. Somebody has to do it. Always trying to impress. Oh, here we go. I'm only joking with you. You are strange sometimes. <laughs> you seem better? Yeah, almost feel normal again. You were never normal, Marston. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later then. Uh-huh. Oh, a companion activity. Have a look. Oh, it's one here by me. Home robbery. Oh, it's tickling my brain. I can almost remember. Which one was it? Surely it's far too soon for us to have to go over that family that speak their own language. That wasn't this soon, was it? Oh, Kieran's mission, that was right. I remember now. <laughs> I think we'll leave that one till last. <laughs> Arthur. Hello? Dutch, Hi. I need you to do me a favor. Are you okay there? Nothing too serious. I need you to help Herr Strauss. I've been working hard, Dutch. I know. And I know Strauss's business is not too glamorous, but it pays. Please, son, for me. Okay. Nice fire here, Arthur. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Happy to have Sean back. Yep. It'll never be quiet around <laughs> here again. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sounds good. Do you remember when I thought Sadie had left because I never saw her because I never came over here and realised she was always over here? How are you doing? How do you think I'm doing? I'm sorry. Just let me know if there's anything I can do. Well, I should get back to it. Okay, then. Stay strong, Mrs. Adler. Believe me, this is just the beginning. 
You're like a caterpillar. You will emerge a butterfly. So you brought the loudmouth kid back to us. I'm sorry. I wanted them to hang him. <laughs> Boy, he amuses me. You done good, Arthur. Loyalty. Tucking all the trees. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right then, Arthur. Good morning. Hey, Tilly. Hey. You recover from Sean's party? Yeah. Don't know if he has. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yes. See you later. All good, Abigail? Yeah. Starting to like this place. The boy, too. Good. I'm glad. Okay. Well, let's talk more later. Sure. Notice it's not giving me a second antagonize option. It's just... If I choose greet, it only gives me greet afterwards and it seems to bring the conversation to a close. Hey, Bill! Be glad Dutch didn't send you back to Blackwater with Charles and Javier. I heard it got bloody down there. Yeah, it worked out, I guess. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, Morgan. Oh, I miss the trees. Hey, Hello, Hosea. I can't talk to you right now, but I hope you're having a wonderful morning. Well done, Arthur. You found the Irish Terrier. Sadly, <laughs> he's just a younger version of you. Please don't say that to me, Dutch. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. <laughs> Oh, bless him. Sean is like a little brother to him, isn't he? An annoying little brother. Hey there. I feel like shit warmed up. Okay, one more time. Hello. Yes? Hello, Arthur. Take it easy. I ain't serious. Well, don't. Okay? Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay. You okay? Good morning, Arthur. You good there? Of course. Why? Too proud to ever admit otherwise, ain't you? Don't start, Arthur. Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. Good. Hope that was fun for you. I just wanted to say... I'm sorry about your husband. Your home. He was worth a hundred of you thieves and murderers. I have no doubt. Oh dear. This is gonna be a long day. Hey. Good morning to you. Make it a good one today. Oh, I will. I'm joking, of course. Everything you make tastes of old boots. Don't, Arthur. Come on. Take it easy. I'm just needling you. Uh, well, good then. I think. So, you had fun partying with Sean again? Well, not as much fun as Karen did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she thought that when she sobered up. Well, I should get back to it. Yep, yep. Okay, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. Hey, glad to have your Irish friend back. Ah, he's not really my friend. Well, okay then. There's times where I can hear sort of voices, and like, like that was a real conversation. That was Jack and Pearson. But there's times where I can just hear a sort of murmur of voices. Um, and like just general camp noise, just bangs and clangs and stuff. Um, and sometimes when I hear those murmury voices, I like walk across the camp Arthur? as quick as I can to try and find out who's talking to see if I'm missing a conversation. And I never seem to be able to find the source when it's like that background sort of, yeah, murmuring. And I'm wondering if maybe they've added in um, just sort of general atmospheric camp noise, including the voices and hearing the pots and pans and stuff being moved around. Maybe just to give the camp a more alive and active feel to it. Um, which is obviously just very good for atmospheric purposes. It does make it feel like you're in a, a big, busy... <laughs> 
camp full of loads of people all sort of doing their own daily things. But I also wonder if maybe they take it out as the numbers dwindle and um, yeah, the camp begins to feel a lot more void and empty and, of, and like lifeless. I wonder if the contrast of hearing all of these sounds and voices and it giving you like a much bigger, more alive, active feel. Hey. Hello. To then shrink it down and make you feel How like things? the hollowness later on. Uh, I can't complain. Good. You all right there, Reverend? Yes. Yes. Happy to have young Sean back. Yep. All right. Well, I should be getting on. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, let's go do this Javier mission. Hey, Javier. I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really... freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, yeah, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. So it is them. It's up north. On the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. Did not realize we did it this soon. Sure, or less. Is that my horse? No. <laughs> That's my horse. Okay, boy. Tranquilo. Got a dramatic exit with this storm. now let's stop and go on foot from here just up the hill this way follow me there's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises sure apparently this family's been isolated for so long they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, big place, right? <sighs> you got your binoculars? I sure do. Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This desk could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. I don't think you need to whisper. We're very far away. Maybe they have, like, bat hearing from all their time living in the wilderness. All these trees? I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. The youth struggling to grow at the market. 
no work to pry on. Shut your goal for new, don't you? Copy here's and I'll be munching doodle from the horses. Just stay quiet. I'm gonna take this time once, Mal. Creepers, Finn. Don't score notions of the dippy Plymouth's head. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone but ten minutes I was. You can only get all the now day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, oh, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. You need to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. <laughs> dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun. We got to put this out, don't you? Oh. Hey, aquí locos. Put the hickory now. Let's take them out quick. Check in there first. It has to be under here. There's no place else that could store it. Come on, we didn't come all this way for nothing. Told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. <coughs> Why is he already coughing? I've not done that mission yet. Was it definitely the money lending mission that he gets it? It definitely wasn't when Mr. Downs broke up Tommy and I? Maybe it's just a normal cop.
Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, you know what? You can... I'm a bad person, so I'm going to leave you for the next train. Oh. You'll be sorry! It's happening! Oh, oh no! <laughs> Go to hell! Oh, where am I? I seek and I find. What's happening? Who, who wrote that? What does it mean? Come back, train. Oh, this is very awkward. My first train robbery and I've messed it up. Damn it, I was so like ready to rob my first train. I was like, this is it, here we go. $50? the downside to being a baddie I guess. Oh there you are. There you are. Nice of you to show up. Nice of you to to finally get here. No it's fine. Take your time. Okay boy. Yep. <laughs> I do not know where that train has gone. Well I fluffed that up. Oh. Is that the guard? He did eventually fall off then. Oh, was it not the guard? I don't know. Today is just not my day. Um, I should just go to bed and try again tomorrow, I think. Are you the guard? Yeah, he's the guard. I kind of wanted to stop and leave him, just in case. It wasn't just the, the train guard, but it was all along. Right, I don't think I'm gonna catch up to this train. If I'm honest. I'm going to make life very difficult for myself if I keep on um, getting bounties everywhere. It was in here. I seek and I find. Any any guesses? Does anyone know? I seek and I find. I mean, it could just be you know the use <laughs> them and their graffiti, but also that seems very. It's almost like the kind of stuff we found in the strange man's cabin. Oh, there's another guard. Look at me, just littering. I think there'll be another train we could find. I'm all like pumped up to rob a train now and I kind of feel like I need, I need closure. You know, I'm starting to think I'm not a very good outlaw. <laughs> I'm not very good at being bad. I can't even rob a train. A noob. Oh, it's very dark. <laughs> so it's just staying very dark as well. It doesn't even lighting up at all. Oh my gosh! I can hardly see anything. Oh, okay. I need to. Oh, just realize you can just see a black screen. Oh, oh dear. make it out the tunnel first. I was wrong. So we're gonna run out the tunnel and then rob the train. I'm sorry you guys are just gonna have to deal with a dark screen for a minute. Okay. Made it right. Now if we just Easy, easy. Wait here, the train won't be a moment. Hello. Let's do this. We damn fool. Hey, 
robin trains okay maybe i should start from the back of the train and work my way up i feel like going straight for the front of the train wasn't my strongest move we're improving it's all about personal development in my outlaw career maybe i should throw in the towel on um robbing a train for the time being just for now. Seek redemption all. It's never too late. Hello, old friend. Help a blind man. Have this. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Keep moving, sir. Keep your distance. Keep moving. But don't move too fast. Well, okay then. Thank you, I guess. Okay, boy. I missed don't that waste guy. any more time with an old blind man. Go out there and become who you are. I will. Okay, I'm steadily getting more and more unhinged. Steadily. Shut up that stay back. This here's a private affair. I've been kidnapped. Let her go. Help, help me. You just had to get nosy, didn't you? Guess I'm killing uh. today. I'll oh, make you suffer. Thank the Lord you showed up when you did. Oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Again. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. I'm getting too used to this, though. I'm finding... I'm starting to find creative ways. I wonder what would have happened if I'd shot her while she was still on the horse with that guy. The only trouble then is I risk hurting the horse. Like, there's a line I won't cross, and that's that's hurting the horses. Ain't you caused enough trouble, huh? Beating up half the saloon like that? Near killing Tommy out in the street? I've been funny since then. Keep your opinions to yourself. You're next, okay? Don't fellers like you ever get bored of pushing folk around? Get your head out of your ass. Your friend had worse coming. I let him off easy. Leave me alone. Back off. For just a second then, he sounded like Will Wheaton. Get the hell away from me! No, I'm pretty sure it's not. I just had a moment there where I was like, Will Wheaton? <laughs> Are you in this game? Oh, someone's had too much to drink. Oh, hello. I want to find Mickey. Jesus! Yeah, go out of town, yeah. see what happens. I'm a bad person now. Do the things that bad people do. That's right. Go where there will, will be no witnesses. Yep. 
Hey. Hello, Arthur. Anything I need to worry about? Not right this minute. Because you're always worrying me these days. Just remember who you're talking to. Do you know who I am? Okay, okay. Keep your hair on. Huh. I really worry about your sanity. Seat and a swig, Arthur. Uncle's drinking again, and the sky's blue. <laughs> Just taking a break. Nice to rest up, huh? A break from what? You lazy son of a bitch. You know you ought to stuff some cow chips in that foul mouth of yours. Take it easy. I ain't serious. Some kind of humor you got. <laughs> Looking good, Bill. Hi, Arthur. Don't work too hard. I work smart. You ain't done nothing smart in your whole damn life. Come on, Arthur, don't start. Just calm down. Okay, then. There he is. Finest whittler in all Ireland. Hey, Arthur. Having a rest there, eh? Right? And boy, have I earned it. I swear, Uncle's more use around here than you are. And he's off again. Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. Roy, good one. <laughs> Roy. Mrs. Adler. Hi, Arthur. How are you holding up? It's like a nightmare I can't wake up from. I ain't sure melodrama's gonna help much, Mrs. Adler. The crap that comes out of your mouth. I'm only kidding around. <laughs> yeah, real funny. Always good to see you. Hi, Arthur. You know, I'm sure Grimshaw could use an extra pair of hands around here. Well, I'm nobody's servant girl, Mr. Morgan. You think you're above us? Because you truly ain't. And now it's Molly's turn. I'm only joking with you. Well, you're not funny. Karen. Slowly learning it. I'm slowly learning it. The bigger the box, the smaller the gift, if you know what I mean. Your dad? Yeah, me dad. From the sound of things, he was quite something. Yeah. Quite something. My father, he always say to me, if someone disrespects you, fillet them with a knife. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I Hello, wasn't disrespecting. Arthur. I was just looking after your mortal soul, honest. Get out of here. Hey, Arthur. Well, we know you ain't a vain man. We know you ain't a wise one. Now get out of here. Do something useful. Go on, get. Someone in the comments, forgive me, I've forgotten who, asked if you'd ever get to see Yuki, my dog, because you've seen both the cats, but Yuki hasn't had much spotlight. It's because he's obviously floor level, he doesn't jump up on the desk. He's a very big dog, so I'm very glad for that. But I can hear him. There you are. Yuki, come here. So I would introduce you. Hey, you gonna come up? Up. Oh, good boy, this is Yuki. Hey. Yuki, up. Yuki, up. Good boy. Oh, just a little bit. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> so that's Yuki. Um, he is the well-behaved one that balances out the cat's chaos. Speaking of the devil. Yuki is 11 years old. He is a white German shepherd. He's the big brother to the cats. They all get on really well. All right. Um, I'm gonna go do the mission with Hosea. I am going to pop into Valentine. Where's that there? I'm gonna pop into Valentine and see if I can use the stable. I can't remember at what point that was made possible. Maybe it's now. I think last time it wouldn't let me in the door, so if it doesn't let me again, then yep. I'm going to assume I need to wait for a mission or something. I can't remember where it happened. But I'm itching to give my horse a name, and I need to know what horse I will be sticking with. Oh, that was another thing. I need to get really dirty and then go into camp. I'm gonna 
doors that closed. Oh, where is he? You pay up or we keep up. It'll cost a sweet penny to get out of this, friend. My life, stranger. You're a gentleman. Hope you're breathing all right. Because you still owe. Difference I... is, it's me now. Here, here, here's everything I have. Take it. Oh, now, look, I, I've got no business with any of this. Oh, now, look, I, I've got no ah, I'm so evil. Yeah, Give the doors Please. are still closed, Prove so. Just prove we're here for each other. Okay, it's definitely a mission thing then, because the stable doors are still shut. But I got to rob someone, so not an uneventful trip. We still got a little something out of it. All right, let's go see hey, Hosea. I... Hey, Hosea, let's go hunting. Jose, you want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. <laughs> So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big Shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way. Sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. I completely forgot about this. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Okay, boy. Here you go. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. All right, boy. Easy, big feller. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spark, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like. Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Just feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. 
<clears throat> Stables are just up ahead. There we go. All right. Go sell that Good big brute. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. I love shy horses. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <whistles> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Stable him. Um. <gasps> yeah, this has got to be it. Oh, I love it's got like a sickle face. Did Bard have that? I can't remember. Did Bard have a sickle face? <gasps> oh, here we go. What shall I? How do I know if it's a he or a she? I guess I could go for a unisex name. My last one was Bard because he was so charming. This is my low honor playthrough. So I think I'm going to go with Rogue. Rogue the horse. Two rogues, that's what we are. Um... Yeah, I think it does look just like Bard. Oh, they could be like siblings. Right, how many times during this playthrough am I going to accidentally refer to this horse as Bard? <laughs> I reckon it might be quite a lot. Um, okay, horse provisions. Let's get a whole load of hay. <laughs> Carry three. What else was good? Carrots, maybe? Oh, we're getting some horse reviver. Um, I think I'll leave it at that for the time being. All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. All right, let's see. Here are your papers. And on me. A new... Grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. Come on, rogue. Oh, that feels weird already. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, Are you more dappled? What's than this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run. Up in the mountains, east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. 
Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. Uh, I never would. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Where do you think Mike and Lenny got to? Susan sent them out scouting, but I figure they'd be back by now. I have no idea. I hope they weren't picked up. Why she sent Mike? I don't know. He's effective in his own way. Lenny's got a good head on his shoulders. Well, yeah, shouldn't have taken him this long. No, but no point thinking the worst. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes and obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. All right, it's getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Now then, you get us set up. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. There with his fancy shoes. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. Ugh. You ready? Well, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. <sighs> so, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay, I think I got this done. 
Good. Pack up and we'll get going. <gasps> Maybe he was. What was it? Pack Jos up, Arthur, and let's get after him. Josiah Blackwater? Maybe Hosea is secretly. <laughs> Josiah Blackwater weaned on bear meat. What's the hold up here? Sorry, just discussing your secret identity. Let's go, boy. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? Well, I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Yeah, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen. If Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Easy. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Aha! Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. <laughs> oh, I feel like I should... Should I get my guns? No, Jose's not got guns. I think we'll be fine. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. I think was. Where's his air gun? He's a trap. Damn it. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. I can't remember what I did in previous missions and stuff. I always want to do the alternative to what I did before, but I can't remember what I did before, so... Never mind. Now we wait. A thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. No, it's too close. You 
left me. Understandable. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing at all. <gasps> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another <laughs> story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well... I'm gonna say stay this time. You're coming I or not? Did go back last time. I'm gonna stick around <laughs> here for a while. <laughs> I'll see you back at camp. Yeah. But I think I'm not gonna hunt the bear. I'll just see if Hosea says anything different okay, when I get back into camp compared to last time. Not that I can remember what he said last time, so everything's new to me. Oh, scary bear. Maybe we'll end on Kieran's mission. I think. A good Samaritan. I'll save you. got an opossum pelt so okay, winner winner boy. yeah prince turned into a toad lovers into stone entire country turned into morons curses everywhere it's good day mr curse. morgan well i didn't quite understand what the woman was saying kind of her being a bit of an idiot but some about a massacre and a Last surviving Indian, cursing the county. Well, if they massacred people, then they deserve to be cursed. Of course. You believe in curses, Arthur? No. I believe in bullets. And not too much else. You soulless wretch. But what was it? W w was it just bad luck or bad weather or something else? Something about an eagle or an owl. A gravesite. I didn't really get it. Well, I think it sounds very interesting. Hi, Karen. Morning, Arthur. Hey, Mary Beth. Hi, Arthur. So, still glad you fell in with this bunch? I think so. Most of the time. They're not so bad. All right, Arthur. Still in it. <laughs> Chile. Arthur. Doing a good job there. Thank you, Arthur. And for once, you ain't moaning about it. Hey, that's not called for. I'm not even going to defuse. What you doing, we gotta get some food soon, Arthur. Food or money. Or these bastards will eat up. I know, Dutch. I'm trying. I know. Hi there, Arthur. What are you making for us? You'll see. Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll taste like boiled socks. I should have known I'd be next. I'm only joking with you. Well, sometimes it's hard to tell. I'm just needling you. Um, okay, so I was going to do Kieran's mission. 
But I'm thinking I want to do Charles's mission, because I know they don't stick around all the time. So I want to grab it while it's hot. While it's there. My man! Let's go hunting again! Is this the bison one? I think this might be the bison one. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. <laughs> bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. On rogue. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. The bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood. But I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Do I have any gun oil? Oh, he's already off. Damage does more. The bow does more damage. Yeah. All right then. Take the horns too. It can all be used. Right. Sorry, I am going to skin you. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Okay, boy. Let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. So good at reading wildlife. No. Look. Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead the way. Yeah, let's go get him. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Ah. <laughs> there it is. That happened the first time. Didn't it? Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Dogs haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. 
Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. We see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp? It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Look, more dead bison. It has to be that. Come on. Wait up. He's off. Shoot those bison. What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. Oh. Please, don't kill me. I'm begging you. I've heard enough. <gasps> Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Naughty poachers. Me, do you know? He bloody well does. Of course. Of course he does. What exactly are we talking about? Damn you! Damn all you! You ain't so smart. You little trollop. Trollops! They're just so unkind. Hi, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> you see miles away. I'm fine. Anyway. Not my business, I guess. Leave me alone. Hi, Molly. <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> what are we gonna do with her? I can think of a few things. <laughs> I'm sure. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay, then. Always good to see you. Arthur? So, you ain't bored of this place yet? I guess not. Surprised I ain't heard you moaning about it. Don't start with me, Arthur. Oh, hello, John. Reverend. Okay, Reverend. All right there, Mr. Morgan. Hello. I think so. Well, I suppose I should move a bit. John? See? We can be nice to each other. I guess. I just wish you weren't such a smug son of a bitch. Did you think that up all by yourself? <laughs> nice one, Rev. Sadie. Hi there, Arthur. Oh, she just trying to hold my hand? Sadie, you've only just been widowed. Yeah, well, look who's talking. Well, that's what you mean. I've been on quite a tear. 
Me and Mary Beth have been so worried about you. Uh, you girls, you have beautiful hearts. Really, you do. I don't know about that. But we care about you. You seem very sad. My life took a turn for the you worse when I took up with morphine there? and opium. I was told it would alleviate my suffering, and in many ways, they were correct. It made all my previous suffering just seem ridiculous. Now I had real suffering, and I lost everything. My vocation, my faith, my family. And but for Dutch and you poor people, I would have lost my life long ago. Um... I'm sorry about that. So am I. And yet I know in a few days I'll be back at it. Searching for I don't know what in that stuff. <laughs> I've been such a fool. <laughs> Tell her, Arthur. Tell her what a fool I've been. We're all fools, Reverend. I'm just not strong enough. I think you are. All right, well, I should be getting on. I guess. That's him. My lady. Hi there. You seem to have everything well in order here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. You really don't have much of a life, do you? Oh, don't start this nonsense. <laughs> the way you did the hand, like, yeah. Charisma check passed. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi, Dutch. Hi there, Arthur. Another day and we're still alive. Of course we are. Despite all your best efforts to kill the lot of us, just remember who you're talking to. It's all good. Calm down. Another bizarre attempt at camaraderie. <laughs> Help me. Speak to them for me. Hi, Karen. How's it going? How's the tree? How's it going? Oh. When's this going to end? Finer fiddle. Glad to hear. There he is. Make Hello, sure Arthur. You even out of trouble there? Of course I am. I tell you, do some work, but you'd only mess it up. Mercy. What are you talking Come about? Come on. Mercy. Oh, believe me, things are going to get worse before they get better. Is your nose broken? Ah. I mean this in the nicest way. Your nose looks a bit crooked. I think his nose might be broken or might have been broken. Oh, Lord. Please end it. <laughs> Hold on, stop looking at me. I want to try and get the angles. Yeah, I think his nose was broken at one point. Or I'm just being really mean. Oh, hey. Hi, Tilly. Hi, Tilly. You feeling more settled here now? Yes, this is a nice spot. Because I sure don't want to hear any more moaning out of you. Don't start with this now. Hey there. What? You all right, Molly? Bored. Well, do some goddamn work then, you lazy sow. I'm not in the mood, Arthur. Arthur, that's enough now. Uncle. You know, this camp ain't so bad. Not bad at all. Apart from you spoiling the view. Oh, so now it's me as well. Am responsible. I thought it was some animal, and Maybe I was right. Oh, look at you two. Enjoy it while it lasts. You know, I find it hard to care about too much. You ever wonder when you're gonna die? Try not to think about it. 
Could be tomorrow. Could be ten years from now. What are you doing with them knives, my friend? Poisoning the tips. Why? Makes for a quicker kill. And you could take down a bear with one of these. You hit it in the right spot. Interesting. Get me some oleander. I'll show you how to make some. Pretty easy. Thanks, Javier. Claro. Okay, oleander. There she is. Good evening, Arthur. What would we do without you? Turn feral, I imagine. Apart from living a much happier life, that is. Oh, shut up, Arthur. <laughs> a different sort of life. I saved souls. I exercised devils. I did. I cast out evil, and I helped people. I was a pompous ass. Really, I was. I forgot that I was doing God's work and began to think that I was a god. What a fool. What a terrible, arrogant fool I was. A man of God. And then I met that little sticky black devil. Those little lumps of hell. Just a little back pain. Oh, this will make it feel better. A gift from the gods. And then it got me by the throat. You all know that. You all laugh at me, pity, and despise me, I'm sure, but forgive me. At least forgive me because all the silly things I do, all the lying and the stealing, somehow it isn't me. Or if it is, it isn't all of me. There's a different, better me stuck inside of here. Dutch sees it. And that's why he puts up with me when I'm sure the rest of you would cast me adrift. And that's why I love him, because he can forgive. Even when I can't forgive myself. Arthur? <laughs> Hi, Arthur. <laughs> Evening. Good evening. You good? Just can't seem to get a moment's peace. So what are you doing all that time you spend staring off into space? I'm just impressed you're stringing entire sentences together. Oh, yes, hey. Arthur. Have a nice evening. How you doing? I'm fine. What is it now? Okay. Folks are worried about you, that's all. All right then, Arthur. What are you doing in here? You left the door open. Go on, get out of here. Stop acting strange. <laughs> oh, I got kicked out. <laughs> Hola. You oh. all right? Hey, I didn't see you there. You camouflaged. Good evening to you. I reckon you might be the most loyal of the lot of us. What else is there? It takes a pretty small mind to believe in something without question. You're one to talk. Gentlemen. Mind if I warm myself a minute? Hey, oh. Arthur. I see. Well, you lot all seem particularly sour. Even by your standards. Which is saying a lot. Now, how am I girls supposed to feel okay about themselves with nothing but a bunch of sour face killers for company? <sighs> well, I do my best to keep them presentable. I really do. But there's no one to help me. Oh, I know you lot just laugh at me behind my back. I know what you say. But it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Being the camp joke. Oh, just because I have standards, huh? 
And manners. Manners is important. Manners is everything. Oh, you lot ain't got no manners. Just look at you. Bunch of cow herders, the lot of you. This is the warpath. Susan! Hi, Mr. Morgan. Thanks for all your efforts. You're very welcome. I know we don't say much, but we appreciate it. Okay. Are we ready for the most epic sign-off ever? It looks quite pleasant over this side. Oh, now it's blue sky, we're fine. <laughs> we're not gonna end the session by being struck by a bolt of lightning, that's good news. All right, I'm gonna end the session there. Um, it's strange because I kind of feel like we've not done many main missions this episode. We did do Hosea's, and I think that's it, honestly, because we did, um, the house robbery with Javier and the bison hunting with Charles. They weren't actually main missions though, so I don't know. Yeah, it feels like I haven't done much, but actually I have done three missions, just two of them were just the companion camp missions. So yeah, it's been good fun. Um, we did not do the Lenny mission, which I was really hoping we'd get to do today. So next time we've got uh, Kieran's and Strauss's mission. I'm pretty sure once those were done, there's a mission that comes up to rescue Micah and a mission that comes up to cheer Lenny up by going down to the saloon with him in Valentine. Oh, here come the clouds. Is it another storm, I wonder? Um, yeah, so maybe next time. I'm really curious about Arthur coughing on that house robbery mission. Um, I kind of wish I'd gone there first as well, because people have said if you go there first, you can hear uh, that family talking about some pretty shady stuff. Um, I don't remember going to see them this early on in the game, so I was convinced that, yeah, I had more time, but never mind. Um, but yeah, when we moved that, whatever it was, covering the, the loot box, um, yeah, Arthur started doing his cough. Now, I don't know if that was just an exertion cough or like, you know, he's just, he was exerting himself or, you know, it could just be a normal cough. We all cough sometimes. Um, but yeah, it seemed almost like it was put in there for a reason. And I don't know if that's because you could potentially, I think it was during like the cutscene and you could have done that mission after Strauss's mission possibly. So maybe it's like a, just in case, that's where he starts coughing. Um, but obviously I did it first, before Strauss's mission. So I'm wondering if maybe, it, yeah, it could just be a normal cough, or maybe because we did meet Mr. Um, Downs uh, in Valentine earlier, and he did break up Arthur and Tommy, maybe, because he was coughing then, maybe. <laughs> Arthur called it then. And it wasn't actually when he goes to um, interrogate him. And I've learnt today that Robbing trains isn't as easy as they make it look, and I need to get a lot better at it. <laughs> what an attempt! Two attempts that was! Um, yeah, the first one I was just, <laughs> here we go, and then I fall off the train. I cannot believe that. Second one, I almost got run over by the train, um, but at least that one was a little more normal, you know, I just got shot to death like a, like a good outlaw probably would be. Um, but yeah. I think from next time maybe I'll start a bit further back in the train and work my way up. Um, I think attacking from the back was quite a good tactic because, you know, I've already cleared behind me so I know I'm safe. Um, but yeah, and then maybe working my way up the train and then I can rob people as I go as well, which would be nice. Um, but yeah, maybe this whole playthrough will be <laughs> my multiple attempts at robbing a train and one day I'll get it. We'll see. Um, and we got Rogue as well. I'm still not used to having a horse that looks just like Bard, but that I'm calling Rogue. 
Um, it doesn't feel like a name to me yet, but I'm glad I've chosen a name. I'm glad I've got my permanent horse. Um, yeah, so rogue it is. I'm getting far too used to, to killing people, I've noticed this episode. I don't know what's changed today, but I am just... I still feel bad for it, but I don't... They, there was like a force stopping me before of like, you, you can't do that, that's really wrong. That's gone. So I still feel bad now, but I just... There's, there's no hesitation. I would just pull up my gun and shoot somebody, which is a bit worrying, um, but, but kind of fun. I think this is going to be a very interesting playthrough. I think I'm going to get very used to being an outlaw and probably do some pretty crazy stuff, eh, Jenga? Another good episode. A lot of fun. A lot of chaos. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you again next week. Take care of yourselves until then, and I will see you on Sunday. Bye, outlaws! Thank you.